How's it going guys, Bash and Scoofy. Now, two days ago I dropped some leak videos, some spoilers. And uh, up until that point, there has been new leaks. Now this one sounds very likely to be the real game. So we're gonna talk about it. So if you don't wanna hear spoilers or anything about the game that might be true, <laughs> obviously man, don't watch this video. So let's get into it. So the game opens up with Joel right after the hospital scene at the end of The Last of Us Part 1. He rides to Tommy's town. He actually sits down and talks to Tommy and recaps what happened in the hospital. Now right after, Joel goes to visit Ellie and puts her to bed by playing guitar. Right after, the scene flashes six years later where Ellie wakes up to Dina and they do their normal Jackson routine. Now this routine that you do with Dina, Jesse and everybody else in Jackson lasts about five hours. Now that includes when Jesse dispatches you on your first patrol with Dina and Jesse. Now later on in the game Jesse ends up running to Ellie and telling him, telling her that Tommy got captured by bandits. And that's when you, Dina, and Jesse actually try to go save Tommy. But that's when Joel actually stops you from leaving the camp. Now, Joel doesn't want Ellie to go, but ends up going. So it's Jesse, Ellie, Dina, and Joel himself who ends up going to find Tommy. Now, there ends up being a blizzard that's when they all get separated. But then, Ellie finds Joel's horse and goes into a cabin. Now this is when, exactly from the trailers that we've seen, where Ellie screams, Ellie screams, stop it. And where she's crying. Because it turns out Joel's getting beat by the transgender who has a golf club, Abby. Now, Tommy is actually unconscious right next to him. And Ellie gets held down, beaten, and then we enter a flashback. And that's when we look into Joel's and Ellie's adventures from the past. Now, during this time, Abby, the transgender with the golf club, and her crew end up leaving. Joel's dead. He's dead. And that's when Jesse and Dina end up saving Ellie, who's unconscious, which goes into another flashback, and it shows a little bit of Abby's, Abby's past, the transgender's past. On the flashback of Abby, the transgender, we see her as a child playing toys in a hospital with other children. And that's when you hear gunshots from Joel killing people at the hospital to save Ellie. And that's when an officer ends up Moving the kids, putting them in a room, locking it, and putting a chair on the door so nobody breaks in. Moments later, Abby ends up getting out of the door, out of the room, and seeing her own dad dead in the hospital room, in the operating room. Now, I didn't get to see anything else past that. But what I do know is, for the rest of the game, 70% is played by Ellie, and 30% is with Abby. And it's mostly, the gameplay is mostly you feeling sympathy or getting to know Abby, the transgender. Now the game pushes on and Ellie is so angry about Joel's death that she runs to Jesse and tells him that they need to go to war to get back at Abby for killing Joel. It doesn't work out. Jesse explains that they need to protect Jackson and that's the only thing that's important. Then she ends up going to Tommy, Joel's own brother, and does the same thing. 
and Tommy tries to explain to her how they should just stay and she should just let it all go before she gets killed or anything like that. So Ellie ends up deciding that she's gonna kill every last one of them, just like you saw in the trailer. So her and Dina get on a horse, steal a horse, and leave, and end up going to the cities to find Abby's crew. Now they ended up getting ambushed by a group that I did a video over, the Seraphites. Now they both end up getting forced into a tunnel with the infected but they end up getting saved by Jesse. Now beyond this point, the infected is barely in the game. In part two of The Last of Us, the infected is barely shown in this game. Like really barely shown. Now, right after that scene with the infected and Jesse saving Ellie, we go back to Abby's past and we see Abby and her partner and they, her partner has made like a mini carnival and they start practicing shooting arrows. Well, right after shooting arrows, they end up having sex. And then it switches back to Ellie and Jesse, where they find a car and a rundown building. Now, this is where Dina turns out to be in. And she's held by the Seraphites, where they're about to kill her. So, so Jesse and Ellie end up saving her, rescuing her. And that's where you see where they're trying to run away from the Seraphites in that big forest, and they're separated. They end up getting back together, Dina, Jesse, and Ellie, and then they end up doing a shootout with the Seraphites. But that's when Jesse actually gets shot in the throat and bleeds out. Dina and Ellie end up having to leave Jesse to bleed out. Now, right after we take a flashback and then we're back at Abby's life, and Abby and her partner are together again on a patrol. But this time, they're caught by Seraphites. And that's when you see that scene with Lev where he saves Abby from getting hung or gutted out by the Seraphites. And right after that, there's another flashback where Ellie ends up finding Abby's crew. And this is where the action starts. I mean, serious action. Dina and Ellie massacre everyone in Abby's crew. Everyone. Until they get to the boyfriend. They interrogate him, but it's unsuccessful. An unsuccessful interrogation, and the boyfriend bleeds out and dies. The screen goes to black, and you're playing as Abby again. Right after Lev saved you, you go to the hospital to find supplies to help Yara with her bleeding arm. Now, you have to take out some infected and then you'll also pass Jesse's dead body, but Abby doesn't recognize it. But it tells you in the game how close Abby is to Ellie. And that brings up the tension because you're playing as both characters and you know what's gonna come, they're gonna meet. Now, we're back with Abby and Lev and they end up not being able to save Yara's arm. So they end up leaving her to the infected. She dies. Now, Ellie ends up seeing a flashback of Joel and her having a conversation about what happened that night. And she asked Joel to be honest. Did they really have other people who had the cure and Joel looks ashamed and tells her that I only lied to you to protect you. And she cries and runs away. Then we flash to the present moment with Ellie. She spots Abby and Lev going into a theater. So she runs after her. But also right behind Ellie is Dina. Now Dina says something like, I can't. Let my child ha live without a mother. Basically saying that Dina's pregnant. And that she's going to protect Ellie while she's going after Abby. So then they end up going into the theater and trying to get Abby. But then in the game, you actually switch characters from Ellie to Abby. And then you're the one 
beating and still taking down Dina and Ellie and beating them to near death. Nearly Dina and Ellie are basically almost dead. Barely able to even look, open their eyes. And Abby tells them if she sees Ellie again, she'll kill him. Now in this point of the game, Dina's bleeding out and she could have a miscarriage. Now Ellie tries to wake her up, but she's not waking up. And Ellie starts to cry because Dina could be dead. Now, in this moment, Ellie starts having hallucinations, flashbacks, starts thinking of Joel as a ghost. And Joel starts telling her to keep moving forward, to get up. And and in this point in the game, you have to keep pressing the mashing the buttons to keep Ellie alive. Now, during this time, a group who means no harm to Ellie ends up coming out of the woods and ends up helping them. And the screen goes to black. Now, this is the last scene you ever see of Joel and Ellie. And it's Joel teaching Ellie how to swim. And in the last moments of him praising Ellie, he calls her Sarah, his own daughter's name, by accident. Months later, the group ends up back in Jackson, and Dina gives birth. Now, Ellie's still not satisfied because Joel's still dead and how many casualties they took. So Ellie puts on her jacket and goes after Abby one last time. Now, Abby's looking for fireflies and ends up finding Ellie. But in a surprise, Ellie gets a jump on her and starts stabbing her in the throat repeatedly until Ellie's filled with Abby's blood all over her body. The game ends up ending with Ellie outside the porch filled with blood. That's the end of the game. Well, you guys, I'm Bash and Goofy. I basically just spoiled the whole game to y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. Um, to me, I like to know things. That's why I'm telling you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to buy The Last of Us Part 2. I hope you too. Hope you enjoy it. I know it's going to be a great game. I knew it wasn't going to end so stupid with Ellie dying and Joel. I knew Joel was going to die. I didn't know Ellie was going to die. And she didn't. So I hope this is true, guys. It's coming out in two weeks. I'll see you until then. I'm Bash is Goofy. And thank y'all very much. Um, this game's going to be awesome. Thank y'all. And most of all, most importantly, thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for keeping us all safe. <laughs> thank you, guys.